This is my unboxing for treats for November 2015 and this is a snack subscription box that and they send um, snacks from all over the world and each month it's themed around a specific location. Boxes are $24.95 a month for the premium pack and that includes 8 to 10 snacks. There's a smaller pack that's $12.95 and you get 4 to 5 with that and I'm reviewing the premium pack. I'm here with Subscription Box Dad. Hello. And as with all our snack boxes, I've taken pictures, unboxed it, and so we will try the snacks uh, for you. And we're going to take turns um, each trying a snack so that way we all don't have to eat the entire box. Alright, so it's kind of wrapped in tissue paper. And there's lots of cards this month. They changed some of their paper. Um, but here's the information card. It tells you everything in the box and a little description. And it also has a little picture, which is really nice considering they do international snacks. You need to know what it is. All right, they have a mystery box giveaway. And um, it, I'll just hold this here. If you want to pause it and read it, it basically tells you how to win a box from them. I do have a giveaway. It ends the 21st for a box of treats. So be sure to enter that. I will put the link down below uh, for that. All right, there's a coupon code here to get 15% off your first box. So I'll put that down below. All right, and then this is the themed card this month. And this month they are traveling to Mexico. Um, and it talks about a couple of the snacks in the box. So this is new. This is the first time they've done kind of a color postcard, which is pretty neat. All right, so this is everything in the box. Pretty packed. So this first item is Paleta Piaso by Riccolini. Um, it's a giant marshmallow lollipop coated in chocolate. Mm. So that's what it looks like. I'll volunteer to taste this one. Um, it was introduced in 1972 and initially made with cornflakes and coated in chocolate. Alright, I'm excited. Mm. There you go. Alright, that was fantastic. It's just um, chocolate covered thick, dense marshmallow. Really good. And then there's like the gumdrops for the eyes and the face. So, very tasty. Alright. Um, with this one. This one looks interesting. And it's like a huge package. And I don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to show you what it is. These are uh, marshmallow cookies made with puffy marshmallows and coconut flakes on top of a biscuit. Um, so it's crunchy and soft. Alright, so it comes in these little packages. And there are three of them inside. Alright, here's a look at what they look like. There looks like there are four of them in here. So, trying the last one there and it was um, pretty nice. It was sweet. It had like a, like a gummy on top. It had a strawberry kind of flavor to it. And it had like a sh shortbread kind of cookie. Could you it. taste the coconut? I had no idea it was coconut on it. <laughs> Alright. Next one is Ruffles Queso Cheese flavored. Alright, there's a look inside the bag. Here's a look at the chip. Looks very cheesy. These are good. They taste like a cross between the, um, was it cheddar and sour cream? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, chips and like the cheesy Pringles chips, like it tastes sort of like that cheese mixed with it. So really good. Yummy. Um, what are we gonna go to next? You're up. Um, let's try that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We have a huge thing of suckers here. Um, these are. I'm gonna show you the name because again, I'm just gonna butcher it. So. I'm not going to try it. That's the name. And what it is, is a uh, lollipop made from caramelized goat's milk. Um, so I imagine it's just kind of a sweet sucker. This is what they look like. 
said there's tons of them here. So I tried one of the suckers, and I mean it's it's a it's a harder, but kind of when you start to chew on it though, it does get a little bit softer and gooier. Um, but it's kind of like a kind of chocolatey taste to it, but looks like a taffy, maybe. So yeah, good. Yeah, it's all right. All right. Um, next. Try these. Takis Fuego uh, by Barcel. And they're mini roll shaped tortilla chips. Um, and Fuego is the hottest and most popular flavor. Yeah, it has the extreme heat warning. Nice. You don't like heat, so I'm going to eat these. Uh, spicy, salty, and tangy at the same time. Those are bright red. Wow. All right, that's what they look like. I'm gonna give them a go. All right, these were hot. Um, they are sort of similar to the Fire Cheetos, um, but a much thicker powder, slightly different flavor. It's not just hot for the sake of being hot. They really do have a nice flavor. Um, they might be a little bit too hot for me, but like I said, I really like the flavor, so I think I'll just, I, I could eat these, so. These are really good. Definitely hot. All right. What do you want to try next? Um, let's see. Let's try one of these here. Boo boo loo boo. Let's see what this is. This is strawberry flavored marshmallow candy bars coated in milk chocolate. And they're one of the most popular candies in Mexico. Oh, looks like they're divided into little nuggets. Our sections. All right, that's what they look like. Let's see, I'll break one in half so you can see. Cool. Yeah, give it a try. There's kind of a peak inside. You can see the marshmallow and the strawberry. Yeah, just like a marshmallow with uh, jelly on it. It's really good. Put the, put the marshmallow in it. Okay. All right. I'm interested on this one. This is like a whole box of bars. Pretty cool that they included. There's 20 of them in here. It looks like there's this is also a hotter thing, maybe. Yes, it is. Uh, Parindo. Um, this is a spicy candy made from the pulp of tamarind fruit and flavored with sugar, salt, and chili peppers. Um, and it's sort of like the Fuego chips, where it's spicy, tart, and salty at the same time. All right. Here's a look inside, and as you can see, I mean, there are a ton of these. I hope we like them because, like, we have a stockpile of them now. All right, here's what it looks like. Looks like it's kind of coated in some sugar. All right, uh, unfortunately, I'm not a big fan. It's, I don't, I just don't like the fruit and the, and the chili together. It, I don't know, I'm just, it's not necessarily bad, even though I don't like it, if that makes sense. It's just, I'm just not a fan of the two kind of flavors mixing. It's almost like a chewy fruit roll-up kind of thing. It's it's much chewier, like softer than a fruit roll-up. Uh, but then it has kind of like chili in it. So it's just, I don't know. It's a little too different for me. But we have like 20 of these now. 19 now. Ugh. I'll take two work ones. <laughs> Share them with friends. All right, which one do you want to try? We are down to three. Uh, Carlos. Let's see, what is this? This is known as the King of Chocolates in Mexico. Um, they are named after King Carlos V of Spain, who inter first introduced chocolate to the courts of Europe. It's from Nestle. Um, milk chocolate bar. So I'm guessing it's just a plain milk chocolate bar. That could be a good thing. There you go. Bye now. 
It's basically like a bar of chocolate. And you just bite into it and it's really light. And it's got some flavor I can't identify. That, you know, it's different. A different kind of milk chocolate. I don't know if it's good or diff good different, but it's just different. Mm. All right. And we have two left. All right, I'm gonna go for the marshmallow. I'll leave you with the hot uh, peanuts. You can't do that. I can. I tried all the other hot ones. You gotta have one. Um, plus they're tiny. You can just have one tiny little peanut. All right, these look like like moon pies. Mini mem what? I don't know. Uh, chocolate dip marshmallow cookies and our Mexican take on the American moon pie. Hey, there you go. And the Korean choco pie. All right. Yummy, yummy. And there are several of them in here. I'll split it with you. We'll both try the last two. Great. This is what they look like. All right. These are... Um, not quite as marshmallow bean as a moon pie, um, and the actual cookie part is much thicker. Yeah. Um, I would say in this picture, the moon pie, the marshmallow is about half the size of that, and the cookie is much more pronounced. It almost has like a, maybe a vanilla, maybe that's the flavor I'm tasting. Probably. It has a kind of a vanilla flavor in there, and that's probably the cookie, because it has such a larger percentage of cookie than marshmallow. I'm I prefer the more heavily marshmallow version rather than a cookie, but they're good. Do you agree? I say, yeah. <laughs> All right, last one. We both get to share it. I'm not a big peanut eater, so spicy peanuts. No, I'm not sure. These are, um, again, I'm not going to say this right, so I'm going to show you. There you go. That's what they are. So it means, that first word means peanut in Spanish, so they're peanut peanuts. Um, and there are three different flavors. Hot, salt and lime, and Japanese style. So we received the hot version. So these are spicy peanuts. <coughs> these are like a Green chili spice? Yeah, I think so. Um, very mild. I mean, not what I expected. I mean, I'm just it's expecting more flavoring than anything. Yeah. I mean, you can really taste a peanut in it. It's not... Um, I, I expected it to be, you know, more spicy than peanut. But it seems to be kind of a well-balanced treat. Very well-balanced nut. Um, and that is everything in the box. So... There was lots of marshmallow treats this time. Um, strawberry, like moon pie versions. I love these queso chips. And honestly, these fuego chips are pretty nice too. Like they're spicy, but like I really want some more. Um, now this big box, the fruit and like spicy ones, wasn't a big fan, but you know, it's fun to try new ones. I like the suckers. Subscription boss dad, what did you like? The queso chips were really good. I think that's my view. One of my favorites. What's your second? Um, sure. The pie is pretty good. Like the one similar to a moon pie? Yeah. Cool. All right, well that is everything in the treats box for November. I think this is a really great box. Um. Number one, you get a huge amount of snacks. So, I mean, if you think about some of the other unboxings that we do, there's usually like, you know, like this package of a snack, you know, um, and there's like 20 of those. Now, granted, I didn't really care for it, but there's still 20 of them. That's a huge value, you know. There's like several different packages of the same thing. There's like, I don't know, 15 suckers over there. So, I mean, you just get a crazy amount of snacks uh, for $24.95 pretty incredible um there's a 15 percent coupon um, i highly recommend the box it's just it's interesting to try something new every month and again you're not going to get you know the same kinds of flavors every month because like this month is mexico and next you know next month is who knows you know so 
I just, that's what I really like about the box. What did you think? I think from just exactly what you said, I mean, I really can't add too much to that. Okay. Well, if you want to subscribe, the link in code or down below, you can save 15% off your first box. Check out the written review. Um, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.